pirates very need to carry stuff, you know, like golden balloons or, you know, or in the modern day, probably your cell phone, your keys, your wallet. No. Originally, many like shirts and pants didn't actually have pockets. So they ended up carrying things in pouches. And the first pouch I want to introduce to you is the pirate leather belt pouch. This is the medium sized pouch, which comes in a red or a black. And it closes to this clasp here and opens up here. And then you can untie this and open that up so that you get quite a bit of room in there. And then, and then you see this big belt strap just clips onto your belt. And that will fit probably a three, maybe even a four inch wide belt. So you can cinch this in and close it. So it comes in two sizes, medium and large. And as you see, the large uh, fits a whole bunch of stuff. Most people pick the medium but if you just uh, like to carry a lot of plunder, then a large might be your ticket. Now, large, medium, and we have a small. And this, you can see the small is much smaller. This one's actually called our, our uh, Buccaneer pouch. And it comes in two colors, the black and the red. And why we call it the Buccaneer pouch is because we're near the Tampa Buck Stadium and the new NFL rules about pouches is that uh, if it's larger than six, four by six, it had to be in a, in a clear plastic bag. So this is the largest one you could carry into a stadium. Uh, if you have a big cell phone, it actually usually just doesn't quite fit. So when I put that, it, it just goes over a little bit. So if you have a big cell phone, you're going to have to get uh, a larger pouch, or you can get one of our shell phone cases, which I'm going to show to you later. Now, this is our soft cartridge box. Normally, they were made of hard, stiff leather, and they were to put uh, rounds, cartridges, bullets in. But for just wearing about, I found that the softer, we made this out of a nice thick wool, black wool, and the top is made of leather, and the back strap is leather. Now, this has a number of compartments on the inside, so, you could put your cell phone, or if you if you have a smaller cell phone, you could put it in the middle. So if you have a large one, it would go here. And then there are some pockets here that you could put your keys in. So this was a very affordable uh, pouch that is large capacity. But I find when I have a cell phone, I like not to have to dig for it. I want it fast. So with this one, it's very fast to open and close to get your cell phone. And this is our leather, leather shell phone case. It comes with the normal one to put on a belt. We have a different version. They're the same pouch except instead of a belt loop, it has these clips. And these clips are uh, for treasure belts that have these D-rings that you could hook up on there and hold it like that. And we created a more affordable one out of our thick wool, so we call this the woolly shell phone case. And that just pops open like that. Put it in. 
the shelf. So, an affordable way, or you could just carry your, uh, well, probably could also carry a wallet and keys. In lieu of a cell. Next, what I have is a gentleman wallet. And how this works is that you will put this across your belt and then you would use this tie to tie it onto your belt. And then, if you wanted to put things or grab things, you would just put them like that. So you'd have one here and one there. And that keeps it nice and secure. And this gentleman wallet comes in a whole slew of colors. So we have the black, the royal blue, the blue striped, the burgundy, the red striped, and the navy. For the ladies, we have something called a lady's pocket. Even though a man could wear this and a lady could wear a wallet. But historically, this is what, you know, they wore. And all you would do is tie this. Okay, so ladies would wear skirts, but the skirts didn't have pockets in them. So they would just wrap this around their waist and then tie it, right? And actually they normally, because their skirts had two slits, one on each side, they would normally carry two pockets, one on each side. And these are nice that there's no button to open. You just put your hand in and grab whatever's in there. So it's big enough for the cell phone in it as well as wallets, keys, and anything you might have, like small brokens. And this also comes in the rainbow color. So here we have our royal, our brown, our black, striped red, burgundy, and navy. So we also have a budget pouch. And this is our plunder pouch. And how these work is that, you know, you would put whatever you needed in there. And then you would tuck it into your belt. And then you might wrap it around and tie it. In the front. So now that's convenient because you got to take it off and on your belt every time you want to put it on. But if you are looking for something simple and affordable, this would be the pouch. Sometimes you need to carry more stuff, and so this is called a haversack. And mostly soldiers would carry these because uh, this was their, their bag for their day's worth of rations, all right? So it has a button right here to close, and it's got a huge capacity that you could put a loaf of bread, a, a bottle of wine, and um, a thing of cheese in it. Now, here it's a little long, so do you see? It has these buttons, depending on how short you, or tall you wanted it, you would just pop this into a button to adjust the height of it like that. So for large capacity, sort of like a man purse. So we have it in burgundy, in brown, 
in the traditional white, which is what most uh, uh, soldiers carry, a white one. But, you know, pirates, they love their black. And so we carry that in the pirate flag. The last thing I'm going to show you is more of a modern bag that we carry. This is our pirate fashions bead bag. It is a canvas bag that has our uh, logo and address on it on both sides. Silk screen. It's got a nice zipper that you can put lots of stuff. So the the key feature with this, uh, most bead bags have very short uh, straps where you have to hold it. We design, you know, people complain that, oh yeah, the, they, they wanted to carry it on their shoulders. And actually you could, you know, put it on both shoulders, like a little backpack, and be able to carry your beads more comfortable for a longer period of uh, time. So this is our final pouch that we are showing off. So we have a huge range of pouches to carry all kinds of plunder with. And now let's go up to the front again.